So today we're going to talk about bead masking. Bead masking is a very powerful technique used in programming and the main idea behind it is to visualize a number and its binary representation on which you can perform bitwise operations like AND, OR, or XOR to be able to turn bits on or off. Think of it this way, suppose you have a set of objects and you're trying to figure out how to represent which objects to pick and which objects not to pick. How would you represent that in a program? Or to be more precise, how do you represent a subset of a set? Well, here's where bit masks come in. All right, so suppose we want to create a bit mask where we get return one if any odd numbered bit in the word is set to one. So as the problem says, we first need to create a mask where every odd bit is set to one. And we can do that by creating a mask on the hexadecimal AA. And we can do it like this. This is how you create the mask for the hexadecimal AA in code. But if we want to translate this AA into binary, we then further get the number 101010, where every odd bit is set to 1. And you can easily verify this on the computer app on your laptop. Now, since an integer has 32 bits, we need to perform a couple of bitwise operations in order to extend our current base pattern of 8 bits. For this, we need to perform a left shift of 8 bits on the chosen mask, which is further ordered with the mask itself, and we can represent it like this. So this is the left shift by 8 bits, which is then ORed with a mask. In order to actually do the calculation, I can show you the way it's done. This is how it is represented in code. But in order to understand how it actually works, I'm actually going to show you what happens behind this code. So the mask we have is this one, and it's currently 8 bits. And we're going to copy that and then we left shift it 8 bits, which means that I'm going to add 8 bits at its tail. All right, so we have done the first part of the operation, and then we have to actually OR it with a mask. We copy the number, and then we add the zeros here to pad it. Then if we want to do the R operation, 0 with 0 is 0. 0 with 1 is 1. So this is what we got after the first operation. But since, as we said, we have uh, in an integer 32 bits, we need to further extend this mask with another 16 bits. And we do that by a left shift of 16 bits, which is then further ordered with a mask. And it goes like this. Then we need to actually calculate it on the new mask. After we copy this mask, we left shift it by 16 bits, which means that we need to add 16 bits at the tail. All right, so this is what our number looks like right now. And now we need to ORD with the mask. And we do that by copying this number and then padding it with zero so we can do the operation. Okay, now that we have done this, we have to do the R operation on it. And it goes like this. Okay, so this is our final number, but we're not done yet. What we have done until now is to actually extend our base pattern of 8 bits to 16 bits and then further to 32 bits, so we have an integer. Now what we need to do is the inputs you first gave it will have to be filtered using the mask you just calculated, which is this by applying the end operator, which is then truncated to 1 if any odd bit is set, or 0 if all the bits are 0, using the NOT operator twice. And we will have the end of our code looking like this. We use the NOT operator twice, and I will tell you why in a second. 
then we have our input the end operation and the mask so we are using the not operator twice because the result of this operation here will give you zero if you use it once and then one if you use it twice and we're interested basically of finding out whether or not we have every odd bit set to one all right so this was it for today i hope i answered some of your questions please like share and subscribe and let me know down in the comments what type of uh, tutorials you would like to see next